Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.web.com video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your theme to look like a Mac. Hello YouTube, I'm back. You might think that I'm on a Mac. No, I'm not on a Mac. I am uh, on a Windows XP uh, that looks with a Mac theme on it. Uh, as you can see, I got everything looking like a Mac. You know, maybe not the icons exactly, but uh, just about everything. I got the Finder Bar and all that up there. And of course I have uh, the uh, Mac Dock down here. It's not Object Dock, it's not Rocket Dock, it's, it's uh, RK Launcher. First things first, I want to go ahead and thank uh, John Tech Block for this, a lot of the stuff that I got from him on how to do the Windows Mac thing. So thank you John. Now you may notice right now I have, um, I don't have the finer bar up there. Uh, and the reason why is because the uh, graphics card in this computer is not all that great. Uh, and normally I have all my pages go down here on the dock bar, but because the graphics card ain't all that great It has a little bit of trouble with it uh, But if you have a good graphics card you can go ahead and have all your uh, Your windows go down here and then put your finder bar up there And I'll show you how to do that later now if you're going to do the finder bar up here What you need is to, to download and install object dock, which is this one right here Then have it to automatically hide that way you can have this right here. Otherwise, you're not going to have it because once you put the finder bar back up there, it's going to uh, try to look more like a Mac. As you can see right here. Okay, now, I don't really like this finder bar, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there. Maybe I'll put it on, one, uh, on my Vista machine. Oh, before I forget, um... To get your taskbar up there, originally it's going to be down here at the bottom. But to get your taskbar to come up here, you got to right click with the taskbar. And right here where it says lock taskbar, you got to click on that. That will unlock it to where you can put it anywhere on the screen that you want to put. But the, to go with the traditional Mac, we'll put it up there. And then you click on lock again. Right here, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I'll have everything that you need on this mega upload link that I will have right over here. And all the thing you have to do is type in the code right here and then hit download file. Then from there you just do regular download. It download won't take too long to do. And then once you do that you'll get this zip file right here. You right click and you extract files to um, the file name. And that way you have the file, like right here. Just open that up, and then click on Mac Things. And in there you have everything that you'll need to do all this with. Uh, the first thing that you want to do, now this is only for XP users. The first thing you want to do is you can either one, uh, uh, install the RK Launcher. And this right here will pop up. With a lot of Mac Things on there, uh, Mac icons and stuff like that. Uh, then after you do that, you want to install the UX theme multi patcher. You want to do that first, and then after you do that, it's going to ask to restart your computer. You go ahead and restart your computer, and once you restart your computer, what you need is the Leopard XP style to uh, make everything look like a Mac. And all you have to do is just pretty much double click on that, and it'll do it. It'll make everything look like a Mac. You get all these buttons here, and you get up here the little Mac, uh, Mac icon and everything. And then, if you want the finder bar, you click on this and you install it. Now, if you don't want to trust me and get it that way, I'll go ahead and show you how to go about getting it. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to go to Google and you want to type in RK Launcher. Once you do that, you click on the first one, and from there, you just download. Save it to wherever you want. You can save it to uh, the desktop or wherever. I've already had it, so I ain't gonna do that. And then from there, you can go ahead and, and install it. It would be in a zip file, like like the finder bar here. It'll be in a zip file. All you have to do is extract it and extract it to the folder. Then another folder, you open up that folder and you just click on the launcher right there, and it will uh, install the program. And there you have it. You have that. Now for the other program that you need. Uh, is object dot and to find object dot just do the same thing you go to Google and type in object dot click on the first link 
and then from there you click where it says free download and then click download for the free one unless you want to buy it it'll take you to cnetsdownload.com save the file and save to your desktop or wherever you want the download file which is object doc if you like yes and you click on that and you install it now the reason why you're going to install object doc is because if you're going to use the um, finder bar you're not going to be able to get this menu right here to pop up unless of course you hit the windows key and it'll pop up but uh, in order to get this start menu right here this uh, you, if you end up putting finder bar on it you're going to need uh, object doc so that you can do this once you get object doc installed you need to configure the dock then you want to go to docklets and you want to go to start menu launcher and then you want to add that to the dock normally this right here when you add it to the dock it's going to be over here if you want to keep it there that's fine or you can just move it to the other side which I like to have it on that side, on that side. Uh, then the next program I'm going to show you about is finder bar to get finder bar you want to go to google you want to type in find the bar and you're going to click on the first link and there you go you have it right here and you just want to download version 1.5 save it to wherever you want it to I'm not going to save it because I already have it of course find the bar is going to come in a zip file you're going to extract that to the folder and then once you have the folder you have it you just click on it and then install the program simple as that once you do that you get this little shortcut right here just click on that and the only one you need to click on is find a bar engine and for some reason you don't have the shortcut the only thing you need to do is go to all programs look for Lance for Messer find a bar and then find a bar engine then the only thing left is to you know find some Mac icons you know to make it look more like a Mac uh, also, you can find a wallpaper, you know, just do a Google search for Mac wallpapers and you'll be able to find a wallpaper. Also, if you want to change the look of your recycling bin, you can do that easily by right-clicking, Properties, and then go to uh, Desktop, Customize Desktop. Find your recycling bin, click on it, change icons, and browse wherever you might have some recycling bin icons. Make sure you have one for an empty recycling bin and one for a full recycling bin. But again, if you want to find icons for uh, for Mac, you can go to Deviant Art and type in recycling bin icons and you'll be able to find some icons on there. Save them to wherever you want and just remember when you save to that and whenever you go to change the icon, just have it changed to the icon. But make sure you're doing one for empty and one for full. Well, that's it for this tutorial. In my next video, I have one for Windows Vista. Thank you and have a nice day.